Custom ROMs on Remi X2 makes it look better for me. Okay, so we have Lineage OS already, the latest update here for Remi X2, and this run Android 10, but something just happened. And we're about to experience the for the very first time a bootable, functional, stable Android 11 on Remi X2. Thanks to developer Hashid Jan for making this available and with his permission, I'm sharing this with you. So if you're ready, if you want to see the things that are new in Android 11 or in your Remi X2, just let's go check it out. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. You know how we do it. Click on that subscribe button right now if you like this video and turn on the notification bell icon to receive notification when we do a video like this. I'm not going to bore you with how to flash this because it's not a public zip yet but before you flash anything, take a full backup. And I keep singing it, I keep singing it. Before you flash anything, take a full backup. So if you really want to know, it's as simple as flashing Android 10 ROMs. So I'm going to put it in the cat, how to flash Android 10 ROMs. If you know that, you can flash Android 11. And there is also uh, Android 11 gaps, Google Apps, uh, Nikki gaps already got that. So this is Android 11, but special thanks to developer Hashid Jan of the Remi X2 community who gave me the permission to share this with you. The zip, uh, the public zip is coming out very soon, but I ah, just can't wait. Okay, so if you notice first of all here, Android 11, one of the clear thing here is the notification arrangement. So I'm going to spend a little time to talk about that that before then also the power also the power menu have changed there is extra control depending on the app that are apps that are compliant with it they can work there is even a uh, cat controls that gives you know nice games <laughs> for cats so these are just the tweaks in the power button so let's go deeper into the notification and also i want to give special thanks to team phantom these are the people that are testing all the custom roms for remi x2 team thumbs up guy thumbs up guy thank you for all you do so we're going to move in now to the notification settings so for each application you can actually do all to bubble and all to you know actually have uh selected uh stuff that do that it is also available in third party that app that support it mind mind you that uh the default uh, android open source uh, messaging does not support bubble so you have to use google messaging so yeah so that's it right now so i'm going to select him phantom a very wonderful set of people working very hard for for all of us so uh, remember, this can only happen for notifications, for, for threads that are not muted. So make sure you are mute the one you want to have the bubble on it. So once you do select it right now, and I go back right now, Team Phantom uh, uh, Chats uh, will now you know pop up and uh, hang on the screen, even when you're doing any other thing, and you can just you know open it, reply, and continue to do whatever you're doing. It's, it's beautiful. I really like the refinement of this. You can also close it. If you don't want to you can tap on it to open it and then chat something and then go back again and and that's it so you see open it chat go back the bubble is gone so um let's just move further what about the call ui um it's just this is the android open source you know call ui is it's just the way it is so you can actually download google um uh dial uh, phone app and then use it if you wish uh okay so let's look at the uh quick settings right now uh there is a whole lot of changes here and i'm recording this with the new android 11 screen recorder so you also notice here right now that uh, you no longer tap for it to edit uh, the quick setting you have to now completely drag it before in android 10 you can just tap on it and it just jump up you have to drag it so these are some of the settings for realme settings thanks to developer hashi jen he's doing a lot of work i would encourage you to just just buy that guy a cup of coffee or a beer or whatever he drinks <laughs> so this is it android 11 live on realme x2 very stable i didn't experience and everything was working calls internet browsing hotspot everything was just working and very soon this is going to go out for public release so what else are we seeing new on android 11 screenshot shortcut is now also added to the recent uh, menu uh, so when you tap on recent you can take a screenshot of the current uh, one uh, the 
uh, recent that you're on you can edit it you can share it you can send it you can do anything with it so that's uh, a new addition uh, on that if you're using pixel also there is option for you to like kind of copy the text on the screen uh, which I believe they will put also the um, emergency number has kind of been you know redesigned with a kind of color that will make you understand that it's emergency the next one is privacy see right now there's this one time only <laughs> only this time why using the app and deny even for storage for every permission right now so this is beautiful so that means some notorious apps won't just overtake your system and take everything so you can give them one time or deny or just while you're using the app and if you talk about this you can see the bubble <coughs> bubbling up <laughs> and the fingerprint is working i mean the food everything is working perfectly on this Remi x2 android 11 ah so <laughs> i'm getting excited already and i'm so so proud of these developers i mean some people are still stuck on july security update on Remi x2 the official one and why these developers who are working these things for free are already ahead of time so this is it uh the fingerprint is working as you can see the animation is smooth i'm actually recording from the android 11 screen recorder so as you can see it's from the uh, lock screen the fingerprint works and not just from that also it works from uh, uh, the uh, uh, always on display so let's check out the dark team it's, it's pitch black very sweet in the eyes especially if you're using AMOLED so um, let's look at the privacy a little bit more um, the privacy also has been refined in Android 11 so you can actually go back to some devices application that you have given permission uh, in, in the past and just you know readjust them or make it once or make it uh, and ask every time or only uh, while using the app in some application you can also say um, just one time for some applications so now that is some beautiful thing I really love about this so this is food and uh, always on display the fingerprint works for Remi X2 so if you want to just get the best the latest um, you should you should you should check this out so this is gonna be a roundup right now so make sure you subscribe and turn on notification bell icon because once the public release come I'm gonna make a video how to flash it and then let me hear from you in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Subscribe. I'll see you.